This is the Raw Life Health Show. Raw Life. Brighten up your life. See, when I was 19 years old, I got diagnosed with uh, this illness uh, of inflammation of the colon. See, because technically your stomach is supposed to be the size of your fist, right? And, 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 you know, but we've eaten so much. And when things become inflamed in your body, it's, it's usually due to excess, excess of bad food, excess of eating too much, too often or too late. And all of us, it might be a different organ of the body. But eventually, what the cells are going to try to do is going to try to uh, overcompensate for that and, and help the body do what it was designed to do. And uh, the key to really health from a cellular level is keeping the cells clean. Uh, if a cell is not clean or not uh, created the way it should be, uh, now it becomes a bad cell. And naturally, through the wonderful creation of our body, the body can usually get rid of that or, or, or dissipate that. Uh, but there comes times where it can't. And that cell starts uh, going around the body. And wherever it is in the body at that time, uh, that's where the other cells of the body are going to do the job that they, it was designed to do. And encapsulate that cell so that cell no longer splits and continues to get all over the body and that encap encapsulates and it becomes a tumor and uh, if you're eating the right foods and doing the right thing uh, the body will slowly uh, eliminate that tumor and and then you'll be healthy but if you continue to do the wrong things that uh, cell is going to continue to try to get out and expand and that tumor is going to get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and this is, uh, creates a problem. Uh, so uh, it all starts first with the level of keeping our cells clean, uh, but then it starts with, uh, you know, if we have this cell and, you know, or this cell of, of even going beyond the extreme from a natural basis to get rid of it. And that begins with cleaning up what we're doing to create the problem. And, and, and you know, see, so our cancer in stage one is, 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 is many people have abnormal cells in their body that are floating around their body and going around their body and, and and these things are happening. But it's when you get to uh, stage stage three and four that, 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 that it becomes a real major issue. But at stage one, the body can overcompensate and, 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 and deliver you from it and you could be gone. If there's enough, if there's enough healthy cells to deal with the, the unhealthy cells, you're gonna be okay. But when you have all these healthy cells uh, and and it just it's just too much work going on. You can only do so much. And you know, on a cellular level, we need to keep the body clean. And the cleansing comes through proper sleep and rest and less stress. And that only happens when we're eating the right way and we're living the right way and doing the right things. And uh, and with the study of epigenetics, we understand that uh, that it's not only the substance of food that can create an abnormal cell but it's the sustenance of our, our surroundings and the people around us and the things we do and our attitude. You know, most people that get sick and are overweight are depressed or have an anger thing in them going on or something. And those attitudes are often connected to food and created by food or something that's happened with a person's diet and how they were eating something unhealthy. So the study of epigenetics is proving that uh, our attitude or our emotions can definitely affect us on a cellular level. And when that happens, then we become uh, sick on a cellular level. So it's not only the food. Then when you get a combination of the food that's really bad on a cellular level in combination with uh, the emotions that are not healthy, this is why we get these diseases. Yes, I am saying cancer is not only a physical disease. It's an emotional disease. Many times people that have uh, internal issues with, whether it's a marriage or, 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 or a parent or a child or some kind of issue, this is the result. And, you know, even in the scriptures, when I look at that, it says, you know, if you have an issue with your brother, and that doesn't mean a brother with your sister or somebody, run to them, go to them and take care of that immediately. Take care of that immediately. And I say, you know, don't let these things mess up your 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 environment. Don't let them. You know, and there's a way to just trust everything and leave everything up to a wonderful creator and let him take care of these things. And and it's not to get upset or or mad knowing that we might be responsible for our own diseases. And the great 
wonderful mercy our creator has because I was responsible for my disease, definitely not eating the right foods, definitely not having the right attitude, and definitely not living life according to the eternal instructions that our creator gave us to live healthily. You know, and it's great mercy. I got healed before I even knew what they were. But then I found out, hey, I'm eating healthy. My attitude's more positive. I'm doing things the way I should do. And one could supersede the other. Meaning, if you're eating healthy, but you have a bad attitude, you can still get sick. If you have a great attitude, but you're eating unhealthy, you could still get sick. But it works the opposite way as well. One could supersede the other. And, uh, you know, you could be eating unhealthy, but if you have a great attitude, that could save you. And you could have a bad attitude, but if you're eating healthy, that could save you. That's how it works. And you have an option. It can go either way. And, and so you want to cover all the bases. Yeah, it might save you. It might help you, but it might not. So you want to make sure you're getting this right and doing this the right way. And you're not leaving any chance for anything to get in that's going to create a problem. And definitely when you start doing all the right things, there's not a panacea out there, but it can save you from every aspect. And that's what you want to do. You want to attack it from everywhere, from your from epigenetics, from your outer, outer atmosphere, from your inner atmosphere, through your diet, through your spirituality, and following these eternal guidelines that our instructors gave us, that our creator gave us, that says, if you follow me and, and you're obedient to these instructions, I will not put the same disease upon you that I put upon the disobedient ones. You see, there's a set of laws that our creator gave us, and these laws tell us how to live a long life. They literally say, here's how to live a long life. Do this and don't do that. Do this and don't do that. You don't want the same diseases as the world? Do this and don't do that. And people might say, well, how do we know that's true? How we know that's true is when you do this and you don't do that, you're not going to get a disease. You know, that, that's, that's, that's like a machine, okay? So we're a machine. We're created. We're made a certain way. So if the machine says, let's say you have a car and it says, don't put diesel gas in your car and your car will run okay. Well, if you don't put diesel gas in your car, your car's going to run okay. Guess what? What's going to happen if you put diesel gas in a car that shouldn't have it? It's going to break down. You have the book. You have the guidelines. You have the instructions. Now, if it does break down, there's a chance you could take a mechanic and get it fixed. It's going to be a lot of work, a lot of money, a lot of time. But there's still a chance, but still, it will not work as well as it would have if you didn't put it in the car. Well, we have these instructions and guidelines also. And he says, if you do this, you will not, you, your car will not break down. You will not get sick. Don't do it. And if you do it, you got to expect something bad's going to happen. And, you know, and, and I find these uh, <clears throat> simple instructions for our life of how to stay healthy and, and, and from, from just an attitude standpoint, from a food standpoint. They're all right there in the scriptures, right here, look, right here. First five books of the Bible has all those guidelines and instructions. And uh, that's why I wrote a book called Health According to the Scriptures, uh, because that's what it produces, it produces health. And that's what we want, that's our desire, right? Or our desire might be to avoid disease. And that's what the scriptures show us, how to avoid disease, how to live healthy, how to be healthy. So uh, <clears throat> that's why I'm so excited about them, you know, and uh, how to have a blessed life. How many of you want a blessed, healthy life? How many of you want to live a live, live, long, live long life? You know, when the Bible says, my son, listen to my sayings, and the years of your life shall be many. I say, I'm, I'm listening to him. I'm here to help you all. If you need help with this and to make this happen and do this, that's why I'm here. I do coaching and, and so on. So, all right, everybody, have a blessed day out there today.